recently I had to get my vehicle renewed and had to get the emissions testing done, so I stopped at a shop to do that, and uh, after that was complete, I ended up having a conversation with the owner, and uh, I found out he was an LDS guy from the East Coast that had just moved back to Utah uh, maybe a year or so ago, and we had a conversation. He found out I was an evangelical pastor, and then I told him about our YouTube channel, Building Bridges with Greg Johnson, and he loved that concept. And he said, well, let me tell you something. I have a principle of my own, and that is you never start a sentence with the word you unless you want to start a fight. And that's because you is an accusatory word. It's a, it's a blaming word. It's a judging word. It's you did this or you did that. And it puts people on the defensive. And I said, you know, that, that's really true. I understand what you're saying. And he said, yeah, we, we would be smarter if we started our sentences with I. Like, I want to understand what you believe. Can you help me understand that? Um, or I was wondering, do, do I understand correctly that the LDS Church teaches this? Or am I correct when I think the Evangelical Church teaches this? Or, or when you want to have a conversation about attention or a difficulty, if you use the word you, you're going to set the conversation up for failure because it's going to be about blaming and accusation. You put somebody on the defensive and they naturally put a wall up to protect themselves and to defend themselves. But if you use the word I, you take the responsibility off them and you're seeking to better understand. And so it's more of an invitation, not a challenge. Do you get that point? That's very, very critical. Perhaps you've heard of the story of a man named Job in the Old Testament in the Bible. It's a story of a man who had everything, very wealthy, very established, very famous, and he loses everything. And three friends come to cheer him up and try to encourage him. And what do they do? They use the U word time and time again. Job, you've done something. Job, you have sin in your life. Job, God is mad at you and therefore you are experiencing these things. So the more they challenged him, the more they put him on the defensive, the, made them, the more they made him feel like there was something wrong with him. They didn't encourage him. They just picked a fight with him. They accused him. They made life harder for him. You know, instead of using the U word, that three letter word, let's use the I word. The I word says, I need help. Would you help me understand? I want to, to clarify something. Um, I'm feeling this way, is that correct? Um, by using the I word, you put the responsibility on yourself. Um, how can I better understand you? How can I understand what you're saying or what you're going through? By replacing the word you and the accusation with the word I and trying to put some honest listening into the conversation, you actually put people not on the defensive, but you invite them to have interaction with you. So let's replace that you word with the I word and let's stop picking fights.